Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video I'll show you how to make a gatefold card, which is a very easy trifold card. To begin with you need a card base. If you want a square card, to end up with a square card, start with a four and a quarter by eight and a half piece of cardstock. If you want a regular size card, start with five and a half by eight and a half. Both times you'll have to score at two and an eighth and six and three eighths. If you have the score pile, it's really easy. You see those dots here, they're already marked for gatefold cards. So just score at two and an eighth and six and three eighths and fold. Pre-fold your score lines. This will be your card base and it's time to decorate. I already prepared some panels and um, with the square card your one, each side measures two and an eighth by four and a quarter. So I cut my design uh, my cardstock a quarter inch smaller and then my designer paper a quarter inch smaller than the cardstock. And that will be my my front panels. Now I want to tie a ribbon. I'm not really that great at ribbon tying, but I will try to get it on camera. I fold over and under and make a loop and make my second loop and wrap my ribbon around my first loop and then whoops I told you I'm not really good fold it over and just fiddle around a little bit till I have a bow that I can live with. Cut the edges off. Oops, I'm sorry. Place it where I want it and then decorate the inside of my card. Again, I already prepared panels that I just have to take down. And when I tape, when I want to adhere something over a ribbon, I use score tape to make sure it, that layer won't come off. I'm out of the quarter inch wide score tape, so right now I'm using, I think it's 3 8 and maybe half an inch. Now, we're coming to the closure of the card. You could just decorate the front and be done. I usually add an image. And I want to show you real quick how I made this pleated um, background circle. The image is from Just Right, the old-fashioned Christmas set. And let me just show you how I made this uh, folded or ruffled um, skirt for my image. I started out with a punch out from Eyelid Shapeabilities, but you can use any kind of circle. And I scored. I lined up the flower center with a score line and scored and then I used, I turned it till I went to the center of my little flowers and scored again. I continue to do that until all my flower pieces are scored in the center and then I will fold Mountain Valley Fold and you'll have to decide which flower you would like to have standing up, which one will go down and fold accordingly. I want this piece to be up front on top, so now just pre-fold all your score lines. Now when you're done, 
I got it all. Turn it around and add glue dots on the part that you want to have on the bottom, on the score lines. You can do each one, or you could do every other. One more, I think. Okay, now I cut a bigger circle already with nest abilities and added a one and three, one and three eighth um, punch out. You don't have to do that, but um, it shows you where the center is. And then you press down your folded circle. Center your center it around the punch dot circle or you know just eyeball it. I'm not really good at eyeballing, so that's why I did this. And then just adhere your image. I added a double layer of dimensional so it will stick because the pleats go up pretty high or the ruffles. Center it again and tape it down. Now to close to close my um, card up, I add again dimensionals and this time only on one side of my image, on the base uh, back of my image. That will make it so you can still open the card, which is a good thing. And it will help keep the card closed. And tape it on. And your card is done. I hope you have fun making gatefold cards. See you next time.